Hello, everybody. Well, I've done a couple videos on this pen before. Yeah. And I'm doing another video on this pen. And it's a Conklin. It's a Duraflex. Duraflex. So yeah. We're and just I have doing never. A video on a pen. Yeah. I have never been satisfied with this pen. Um, it originally came with this Duraflex nib, and terrible. it's supposedly a flex nib. Terrible. And terrible. it's a. It's a terrible nib. Disgusting. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, but it's terrible. <laughs> so, Least favorite nib. Um, yeah. And then I had um, replaced it with another S uh, Conklin nib, right? Um, also terrible? Um, well, less terrible? Less terrible. No, it's, it, you know, uh, it's not as bad as I had thought it originally, but I still wasn't happy with it. So what I've done is I've ordered something to replace it with and we're just going to do a little unboxing here so second um i need to make some noise because our cat is currently stuck in a blanket okay you undo her how is she stuck in a blanket what? so i ordered a uh, okay okay she's yeah. stuck in the blanket mom there's mayhem going on behind me so i have a box oh, there you go. i have a box from goulet pens and we're all good you know it's i love i like goulet they're a great company um, <laughs> what? I, I want Jeff, to use the knife. You want to use the knife. Okay. I like it. Um, but it, this nice. is going to seem a little funny when I open up this box and you see what I ordered and see how big the box it, it's is. It's pretty light. So yeah. I assume so, that it's just air. It's just a packing slip. And, it's wow. a pretty small box. So in here somewhere, hopefully, is. Oh. <laughs> This is what lollipop. I ordered. I didn't order a lot. It they came all, with a lollipop. They always do that. So, what I have is Banana. The, uh, a really nice sticker. Hmm. And that looks like That's a... That's awesome. That looks like an E95S there. Or something. And a couple cards thanking us for our business. I always stick these things in my journal. I'm going to do that. Those are nice. Um, but really, what I ordered was two Goulet nibs. That's all I ordered. <laughs> I didn't spend a lot of... I didn't really want a lot from them. I just got um, oh, and a little uh, banana sucker. Banana sucker. So you're gonna eat taste that? Taste test it. So as you can see, it's a little chaotic around here. He's eating a sucker, it's good. and so good. I ordered two goulet nibs. Um, when was the? I believe that's the older style goulet nib, and this is the modern one, or the <laughs> the more recent one. It, it's they're both very. And nice. so it's number six. This is medium, and this is a broad, and. Well, what I'm going to do is put one of these nibs in the pen. I think actually, you know, I don't have a lot of broad nibs, and I'm going to put the broad in <laughs> now. Um, so you want this to be a flexible pen? No, actually. No? I have some vintage pens that are far, far more flexible than any modern flex nib so there's some flex nibs that are crazy but well the ones that i have that are really good are, are older pens vintage yeah and so anyway as when you order um a, a, a uh, the conklin nib it comes with a feed and a little section uh section here a little casing and i didn't order a feed with these and I'm going to use the, hopefully be able to use the one that's here. Maybe that's going to be wrong. Now, it unscrews. So you just unscrew the whole set, the whole need, the whole feed section. And now, this is just friction set in there. So it's, what you do, it, <laughs> uh, a little bit of ink. You are getting ink on me. I'm getting ink on myself. I should have cleaned okay. that off a little bit better. We probably should have thought about this in advance. I never think about anything in advance. You know me. Touche. Touche. <laughs> so. You gonna, make a good point. I'm, I do make a good point. I, I don't think you've ever thought, thought mm -hmm. about making videos in advance other than just like, mm -hmm. here's an idea. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also very fun and yeah. entertaining. Now, oddly enough, I did have this out before. And I'm having a right old bugger of a time. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Tight little bugger. It's tight. We probably shouldn't say bugger. Anyway. Um, Why? It's just... Is anyway, it uh, inappropriate? Yeah. Anyway, so mm -hmm. I, this is the Yowo nib. Um, the ones I'm replacing it with are Yowo nibs. And... Yowo. Yo-wo is a fun um, word. 
I'm hoping that the Goulet nibs are better. I'm just going to leave that there. I can't pick it up. I'm going to get that box out of the way. Yeah. So I'm just going to set that. And you know what? I don't throw these away. I'm going to keep it just in case I ever need to <laughs> something, you know, to replace. I'm just going to trim that. What we're going to do is test it out. Go with a broad because I only have one broad nibbed pen, and that is my Quebeco Sport. So... If it, if you don't like how it writes, would you try out the... I will put the other. medium in, yeah. But I probably won't do it in there. So that looks quite nice. That's oh. a... It, it's, it's a, a good-looking nib. It is. And it's... Especially with the design of the pen itself. Mm -hmm. I think they fit really well together. Yeah. And where did I put the casing? Over there. <laughs> or whatever this thing is called. I'm going to call it casing. Now... Got to line that up properly, so that goes that way. It just pops back in. That looks pretty good. So the, it's all friction fit. It just goes yeah. back into that housing. We'll Which call is it housing. pretty good because it's easy to take apart and easy to put together. Yeah, and you know, it's a nice looking nib. It's just simple. I like. I like it. I wonder if I just didn't like the anodized black nibs. I don't really know if I like colored nibs other than gold and silver. So that just screws back in. Yeah. Yeah. Nice size tipping on that. I'll probably have to do a little tuning on this as I go. Yeah. Uh, but but we'll see. we're just going to give it a shot. Now I'm going to put the converter back in. Now, oddly enough, the converter is loaded with ink. Um, and I can't remember what color. And that just screws in. Oh. There we go. Now, let me just... Prime that a little just to see how that works. <laughs> it's going to take me a few minutes to get this going, I think. Because usually, usually, uh, there we go. <laughs> now, it's a nice looking pen. I've always liked the look of this pen. I've always been disappointed in this pen. And I don't know if I'm going to be. It's a pen. <laughs> hmm. So, what? It's just taking the feed a little time to get going. Hmm. Need to give it a shake. Yeah, we're all right. So, we are very professional here, everybody. <laughs> we know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, that's it just, just like sh shakes out, and it it's shaking out of the feed, out of the feeder hole, and <laughs> not writing out. Not yet. writing yet. I'm probably doing something wrong. I don't know if this video will make the... <laughs> It'll make it. Anyway, Here, um, can I on. take a peek at that? Yeah, I just need to get it going. I'm just going to advance that a bit more. Now, I, as t um, one thing I did notice about the pen, I had inked it up earlier, and I was using the old nib, and... After a couple of days, it seemed to write quite nicely, you know? I, I liked it. Um, Can no. I give that a shot? No, it's just shooting everywhere. This is not working. Can mm -hmm. I just anyway, check I'm just that gonna, out? Just trying to get, I'm just going to do this a little bit, just trying to get the ink to go. New nib. takes a few minutes to get going. I've not used Goulet nibs before. Can you try something? Just say. What do you want to try? Here, I'm going to just... Oh, that's a good idea. If we just apply pressure to the back to open it up, you can see it mm. seep out there and then... Hold on. Don't push down like that. It's writing a bit more. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. It's yeah. worked for me in the past. <laughs> well, sorry, if yeah, you have just... any tips to avoid this, tell us in the comments. Yeah. It would be very helpful. Or not. Don't tell us in the comments. We're just messing around here. Yeah, but it could be beneficial. Mm. Can I just look at no. that? Oh, just a sec. Anyway, it is coming through. We are through. professionals. No, we're not. We're amateurs. We're rank amateurs. No, we're very much professionals. Will it write? Will it not? <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. Can I give that a go there, Dad? Yeah, give it a go. Like, take a peek? No, no, don't touch it, though. It's all over the place. Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. And we Set. can't get it writing. No, 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 don't. Just a sec. Sec? 
It's just taking a moment for the ink to come through the feed, that's all. I'm wondering if the feed does not keep up with that nib. Um, but, can you get ink? That, I think that's Waterman's ink. I forget what I put in this. Can you sit down quick? Okay, we are... No, no. I'm, I'm just going to look. We, we are professionals here. Let's see if I got that right. Is that... Can you just say it? It's not on screen. Yeah. Um. Hmm? No, don't turn it. Don't. You're getting a little bit of ink on your hands. Careful. Perfect. I think it's just one of those things that it just has to... on my fingers is a different color than the ink no the it's probably just i'm just gonna advance it all see what happens try right with it advance <laughs> yeah okay it's not working want to try the medium see if it can if it's just a rate issue oh wait i think we're going there we are. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. That was, that was messy, and I hope Goule Pens does not mind the fact that we have... <laughs> it is not the brand's it's fault. Not, it's it not is there. our general... Anyway, it confusion. just took a little while to get the feed primed and caught up with it. Um, we also don't that really I was expecting know what we're that. doing. No, we know what we're doing. We're pros. Anyway, so let's do a little writing sample. Oh, actually, that looks nice. The feed, actually, once you get it going, that catches up really well. So the quick brown fox. It has, like, a decent thickness. Well, it's um, it's a broad nib. Yeah. And as you can see, it has this nice broad line. That'd be excellent And, uh, and on drawing. the cross strokes, you get this... this um, a thinner line. On the down strokes, you get Honestly, a thicker line. Honestly, I will so, say... So the quick this... brown fox jumps over... This would probably be a great nib for if you're trying to draw with it. Um, yeah. Well, I have some really nice um, inks that are sheening inks, you know? And... Um, Ooh, they'd work they really would look, well. I, that's why I wanted a broad. So, um, so anyway, the original nib was I found really just not pleasant to write with at all. Um, just... This one here, no. uh, I also didn't quite like. And it... I, th I wonder with, the f you know, the, if you look at the difference in the theater holes, I wonder if that's what I didn't like about the uh, this nib here. That doesn't make any sense, I know, but um, so this is a Yowo nib. Um, they make nibs for so many different pen manufacturers, and yes, I took a few minutes to get it going, but now writing with it, it's very smooth, uh, very nice. Um, puts down a nice wet line. That what you know. I just needed to get the feed primed, and I needed to get the ink flowing through the tines. It took a couple of minutes. It always does that when you're messing around with things. Part of the fun of messing around with pens is the Chaos. the mess. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, there we have several nibs now that i can always use so uh yeah that's the medium right there um number six big nib nice looking nib um that's the the original this is the the, the newer version there's less scroll work on the um the, the newer goulet nib but there's that little ink splot uh, etched on it there and their logo i think i have to look at it under a loop and what do you think sam that's a pretty good nib. Mm. I like it. Yeah, so I think what's in there now is just Waterman Serenity Blue. But I think this would look really cool. I have a really nice green ink, um, Jadeite. From, yes. Uh, uh, I forget the name of the company. Um, Jadeite. Um, <clears throat> it, ink it, brand. Insert um, here. Yeah. <laughs> ink Institute. That's the one. Um, yes. And it has a really nice sort of metallic red sheen to it that's beautiful and i think what i'll do is clean this up 
put that ink in it and see how it works. And I think it'd be quite nice. Um, but now, I think I've taken a pen that I've always been slightly disappointed in, or uh, quite disappointed in, and I've turned it into a pen that I'm quite happy with right at the moment. It, um, that's a very smooth nib. I'm very happy. I was kind of wondering how, how these nibs would feel. Um, I don't think I have to do any tinkering with the nib. I don't have so to it's a smooth nice it. Nib. I'm going to change the color of the ink, see how that works. Recommend the nib. Yeah, if you have to replace a nib that you don't like, um, you know, there are different uh, places you can buy replacement nibs. I just went to Goulet. I, I heard several people commenting on their, their quality of their nibs. But it, it's Yowo nib. It's the one of the big biggest manufacturers of nibs. And um, why uh, this Yowo nib is not... My favorite, I don't know. Uh, whereas this one feels a lot better, a lot smoother. Might be the finish on those uh, nibs, something like that. Um, but yeah, now I have a nice uh, broad nib. And that'll be a lot of fun, I hope, with, with some really interesting inks. Um, the other problem with this pen was the on the cap, there's a little section right here that had essentially came off, uh, and it was all sort of fit in properly. But uh, what I did was I crazy glued it back on, and uh, it fits better now, and it seems to be holding quite well. And you can't even tell that, you know, that the crazy glue didn't seem to damage the plastic in any way. Um, very durable, so. But yeah, I've always liked the look of this pen. Um, Personally, I'm not a huge fan. You're not a huge fan of the look? I I'm not a huge camo guy. You're and not looks... a huge camo fan? No. Really? It's... Okay. It's just That's not cool. my thing. Okay. But... but I like it. And I don't really think of it as camo. It's more of a Well, tortoise. it's kind of camo-esque. Camo-esque. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. The kind of splotchy design. I'm not the biggest <laughs> fan. So if I'm out in the woods and I'm watching birds, I can use this to take notes because they'll never see the pen. Or you could just make a ghillie suit pen. <laughs> Suit. That'd be an interesting pen. That would be. Anyway, Just okay. Like, We're rambling on, and this has been a very chaotic video, but a lot of fun. Head no order. Yeah. But we got a pen if, that works. We I. I'm, if we had a plan going into this and like we're professional, then I don't. I I think that'd take away the appeal of mm -hmm. the videos. Yeah. <laughs> now I am going to save those nibs. I never throw away nibs, even nibs that I'm not particularly keen on. So, anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Yeah. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, we invite you to subscribe. Yes, it's a bit it's messy fun. sometimes, and things don't always work, but this time it did. Didn't think it was yeah. going to for a second there. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Yeah. Thanks. Bye, bye everybody. Bye-bye. And the banana lollipop was okay. It was okay? I'm not finishing it. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.